Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial on uh, the CLS Repaint Manager. Just uh, bring this up here. CLS Repaint Manager actually can be found in on the CLS website, commerciallevel.com and Repaint Manager, Repaint Manager or do do where is it? There you go, Repaint Manager. Uh, I think it's somewhere else as well. Oh, you can click in the news as well. We're recently doing some more liveries for it. Hawaiian one, just one Facebook competition. Uh, so repaint manager. And it's was price sixteen dollars. So that's it's not bad. It seems like um at first glance it's like oh sixteen dollars just for a repaint thing. Um but it, there's loads of features in it that I've only actually recently found out. Uh it's ten pound or a euros. Uh, 12 euros, 10 pound, 12 euros, 16, well, a bit, tiny bit over, Six, uh, 16 dollars. And did you, I'm just going to open it up now. So that's at commerciallevel.com, repaint manager, repaint manager. I'm going to open mine up just on my other screen sec. See, so that's repaint manager, it's just um, an install, just install it any way you want. Zoop, I'll just minimize this, just make declutter. And go to that. Uh, you have to first time you go onto it, enter a license key, which you'll get in. Um, you get in you know, your order confirmation. And that gives you a full year to use. Like mine's still valid till 25th of May. Uh, well, you can't see this because I'll block it out with a box, so you can't see the license. But anyway, and uh, basically what it is is I've got. Uh, you get search, so you can search all the liveries there. Is currently. 56 pages of liveries. You can see all the liveries by going back to the website. And CLS Repaint Manager database. Actually, I'll just I'll show you this first. So the database, 56 pages. All um not just CLS, different ones. For example, uh, manufacturer, Boeing. I want some PMDG ones. Let's uh, develop a PMDG. Aircraft type. Uh, that was none for the 73 uploaded yet. 747. And there's two here, left answer. And uh, two left answer ones by Patrick Cagle. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Cagle. Just choked to death. And a uh, little thumbnail there for him. That's just, this is just the browser for, this isn't the actual, this has no functionality apart from just like a, a viewing library kind of thing. Uh, you can search by name as well, but I'll, I'll explain that in the actual um, application, the program. Just close that down. Uh, ba -ba -bam, that was uh, features. Do -do -do -do. Oh, yeah, that's all I was going to say. <laughs> I knew it were on this page. Um, even though it is, I say, sixteen pound, uh, sixteen dollars, uh, you get the free Airbus livery pack expansion, the MD eighty one eighty two livery pack expansion. 20 new DC 10s and 15. I was well, you can read, but 15 brand new uh, MD82 MD81 liveries, which can only be found on the repaint manager. So basically, you're getting wait, I don't know how many is in that? I'm guessing like 20 in each, 20, 40, 60, 75 liveries, roughly 70, 75 liveries at least um, for that price. Do rather than have to buy them separate through web shop product list whatever and just dock this down again and bring this back up uh, flight sim we can select it I mean also pay where liveries uh, nearly always um, well, exceptions to some of the new ones actually which um, are FXX only but we'll just pick FSX that's what I've got and uh, flight sim path I think it auto finds this when you first install I'm not sure Anyway, just put your path in there. Search. So, like I said, I can go for. Uh, I don't think what plane. I have quite a few planes. Wilco Airbus. See if they have any A380 paints. I don't think so. No, I don't have that aircraft. Um. But it's back. Um. What should we have? See. Do 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 do. I'll find a CLS one then. A330. Oops, 
search. Alitalia. Ooh, I don't think I've installed that. Uh, Alitalia. So all you do is click on the thumbnail. Do do do. There you go. And it comes up. Twenty downloads uploaded in thirteenth of May. If there's anything, any graphical issues with it, anything wrong with the repaint, report a problem. Da, 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 da. And of course, you need the A3 uh, Airbus long haul pack for, for to, in, to be able to install this. It's just delivery. You don't get. So all you do is click install to check. Uh, install. I know which engines is. Do 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 do. No Alitalia. No Alitalia. And no Alitalia. Right. So I'll click install. Alitalia. Do 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 Hundred percent. So that now. That's all you do. Click install. I haven't clicked anything else. Just go back to this. And should there you go. Alitalia. As you can see. Same. Uh, the pixels they hurt my eyes. The zoom it does nothing. You can see that's the one. That's the um, Alitalia from there. If we go into flight sim. Choop choop. Switch arrow. Arrow interface deactivated. Change the plane. Oh, there you go. Alitalia. Oh, yeah, I have a. Uh, <laughs> embarrassingly enough, I have a bug with my. Um, this isn't a texture problem that I have it with um, nearly every A330 I've installed because I haven't installed the service packs yet because I'm lazy. But there you go. Alitalia, nice looking paint. Close that down. And close the physics. If I can reach the thing. I know it might look super to you, but I've got the um, recording toolbar up just where the X was in. Um, the bandy cam toolbar. Jub -jub, switch. So I've installed that one. So say if we want to manage this one, if we don't want, for some reason, we wouldn't want to call it um, Alitalia for some reason. You just click on manage here at the top. This is really good. Like I say it's not just FSX, it's anything you can search. Uh, like I showed you before, search. PMDG and search. There goes all these PMDG ones, which I don't know why I didn't show up before, but uh, Air Canada, New Colors, 744. And all you have to do is click and install, and it'll install it for you instantly. No ed no editing configs, no messing around or anything. So, like I said, click on Manage. Um, Flight SimX, FX. Manufacturer. Oh, it actually. Uh, scans scans your folders. Also, these are all the ones that I have installed. I have Quality Wings 7 uh, 757. Uh, the Wilco is it? Um, I don't know which which. Oh, my Project Airbus uh, A380. That's pretty good. And of course CLS ones. So where is it? CLS uh, Alitalia. There we go. The thumbnail again. That's our current selection. I haven't picked a previous selection. So but if I clicked Air Lingus, for example, that's our current. That's also if you click down that by accident, and you think, oh, damn, I need to go back. Just click to do current se uh, selection again. Let's say title is commercial level Alitalia. So we've changed this to Hello. And ATC Airlines, so you can change all these. Just scroll down, change the registration of it that shows up in um, the AT default ATC variation hello and save the edits or delete the repaint to clean if you want to clean up your folders save and complete so now if we go back to flight sim zoom zoom We need a new flight sim. And it's now called. And I'm just a roof man. It's called a A38, A3, A330-200. Hello! Without any config editing, so normally you'd have to go into. Uh, normally you'd have to go into aircraft. And you can actually see it's, it's edited it automatically. But normally you'd have to go into aircraft and change these to 
I'll wait till we, uh, I'll change it back just for me in the future. I'll wait till we, uh, save. I wonder if this will oops, close this now. And again, trying to grab the thing. Well, that's failed. Don't want you. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Close everything. Control D. Go back. Oh, Italia. Did you when it's changed back again? Because this it, it basically reads the um, aircraft.config and um, just displays it in a graphical format, which is really handy. And I can delete that. Delete. Oh, I don't really want it because it's a nice one, but. Edge for the, I'll install it again there. And that is now deleted. That will not show up in our FSX. Import is, for example, say if I want to install, let's just have a look for one. Um, I've already got it. Which one I even got? Uh, I know I've already got it, but for example, the NR Tours one that I did. So if you just downloaded this off on online and you want to. Um, Put it into FSX. If so, if it's not if it's not on the um, livery list, you just click import, drag the um, zip file in. Oh, I can't. Hawaiian, then, for example, that that's one I did, so it's bound to be something wrong with it. Uh, Hawaiian and aircraft config for it. So yeah, but then. That. Drag that into there. Can't find. Okay, search for an aircraft config. There you go. We found it inside the folder. So imagine I've just downloaded the off uh, offline. Why well, keep saying offline? Online. Uh, download it. Put it on my desktop or wherever you wherever you want. And drag it in, and it's added it. And you can just click install or upload online to add it to the whole list of them. So you just click install and that'll install it to your flight sim. Upload. So this is actually where's mine? Um search KLM. I just recently uploaded a KLM one. Oh there you go. Wonder if I can delete it from here. Unless it's online forever now. <laughs> Manage. Apparently it's online forever. Well. Upload. Um don't really want to cause I might mess things up. What's this one? I'm just clicking on my other screen to bear with me a sec. Um, oh, I can, I can do the same thing, I guess. Let's have a look, Hawaiian one. Yep, Hawaiian. And so I've just, I've just got a texture here, texture dot Hawaiian, like you find in, like you find in, like this is tech, oh, disappeared Alitali, but um, Air Lingus here. Texture dot EIN. This is just texture dot Hawaiian. Uh, oh, fine. Cancel that. Because I clicked on this. Uh, you can all you can do is just drag it in. So if you've, for example, if you've created a delivery, just drag the texture in, drop. And uh, if you haven't put already put a like a, a README file in, uh, it asks you for this. Cannot find aircraft config. Please add a text file. I'll let. Uh, the repo manager search. So all I have to do, because it's somewhere on my system, the um, config file for it. Just click search, and will it find it? it takes a while. There you go. It's um, <laughs> well, it's picked up the screen, the thumbnail from inside the file, and it's picked up all the. Um, did I spell Hawaiian wrong? Nope, it's spelled right. Um, it picks up all the thing from somewhere inside. I think it's in my uh, my old. Uh, my old old hard drive it's picked up the config file um, so that's fine and then all I have to click is you can put a description if you like and a contact box which I'll block out again now that it really matters and you can type a description so hello people and it'll come up here when people view it and it, all you do is click upload I'm not actually going to upload it cause then it'll be on twice and it'll be yeah whatever messy but um, you can just click upload and it'll just go do 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 Hawaiian, you know, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100% uploaded. And then it'd show up in here. 
Oop. <laughs> she opened here. But as you can see, I've already downloaded it. I've already um, uploaded it. Oh, one download, yay. I'm popular. <laughs> uh, so that's that's it. You can search, uh, search download. So install, click install and it'll just install it in automatically into the right folder any aircraft PMDG uh, POSKI or whatever it's called now CLS Captain Sim Wilco it'll just click one click install done no hassle no messing around uh, manage you can see all your current ones and click and edit them current selection B8 change the call sign Upload. You can upload your own repaints. I'll just cancel that. So that's the uh, CLS Repaint Manager. Uh, so it's available for. I'll bring it back up. To do. Sixteen twenty one for a year. I mean, uh, to be honest, that's, I personally think that's well worth it. It's like ten pound, whatever I said it was. Ten pound for a year, and you get. It's like so many. You get what's that? So many. Uh, two for. You get seventy, seventy, seventy five repaints free, as well. I mean, yeah, it's pretty. If you're gonna buy the repaints anyway, you might as well buy these. This, cause it's superb, superb, old chap, superb. And thanks for watching this. I'll see you next time.